Hey everybody, Joy here. You ready for some ruler slapping tutorials? It is Wednesday, March 3, 2021. And I have been sewing, 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 sewing so I could figure out how to tell you something. I'm always wanting to answer your questions, but sometimes I have no clue how to answer your questions. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about the daily raglan top and how you make the neckline higher on it. The neckline, if you've seen the last few I made, there's a picture of one I made right there. And if you've seen them and the one on the girl on the cover, it's pretty low. It's like down here. It's a pretty low neckline. And one of you said you really wanted to make it a little bit higher, but you didn't know how to do it. And I thought, oh, how hard can that be? My goodness, just raise it up. Well, when I got my pieces out, <laughs> and I thought, oh, I need to show that lady how to raise the neckline, uh, I looked at it and I thought, oh my goodness, I don't even know what part of it is the neckline. Oh my goodness, I don't know what you do. <laughs> so I will tell you my process. Now, I'm sure there's ladies out there that are experts at this. I know several of them, but I don't know that they've ever shown how to do this or not. But I figured it out. I am so proud of me. <laughs> so what I did was, I took the front piece, and I took the sleeve, and I lined up the notches on the sleeve. Then I turned it like as if it was sewn together on its quarter inch seam. And I did that to figure out where the neck is. I mean, look at this. Can you tell where the neck is? I couldn't tell where the neck is. Look at this shape. Can you tell where the neck is? I couldn't tell where the neck was. So I lined up the notches put some pins in it, folded it like as if I was going to sew it that way, then I could easily see the neck. So then I wrote on it, front neck is this curve right here. This is the front of the blouse. On the sleeve, I wrote that the neck is this curve right there. On the back, I did the same thing. I lined up the double notch, acted like I was going to pin it together. Well, I pinned it together like I was going to sew it and turned it. So then I figured out that on this back piece, this little area right there is all there is to the neck. There's not very much of it. Let me roll the camera down real close, and I'll show you what I did. Because I stared at it for a while, and I thought, well, how far do I go? Where do I start? Where do I stop? What do I do? And I figured it out. So proud of me. Let me put the camera down close and I'll see if I can explain it to you. So, I went and I got a piece of paper. You have to have a piece of paper. And on the way to get the piece of paper, you get a pretzel and a chocolate covered almond for strength. <laughs> so I took a piece of paper and I put the front neck down on it and I taped it and I taped it then I took my ruler and I lined it up with this center front line and I just went straight up straight up continued that line straight up then I came over here on the side where the center front ends at the armhole and I followed that line straight up. Then, I'll just make this a little bit taller now. You can see the blue line where I did it the first time. We'll, we'll play like I'm going to do it again, okay? So then I decided I was going to add a quarter inch. So I just took my ruler 
I took my ruler and I just followed around the curve. A little bit, little bit, little bit, drawing little short lines. And then you just join those together. It worked out so good. You're going to see me. I'll model it for you in a little while. See there? See there? So here's the straight line. And here's this straight line. And so all of this, all of this part is, if I wanted to raise this another quarter inch, that would be it right there. And I would take my cutter, and things never stay put. Pardon my phone. My phone never makes the tiniest sound nobody ever calls me. The only time I ever get a phone call is when I'm in the bathroom. The only time I ever get a message is if I'm talking to you guys. Isn't that crazy? Oh, now I just pulled it away. Now you would have it taped. You would have it taped so it would stay. Okay? I'm glad I drew that on there so nice because now I can really see it good. <laughs> so, if I wanted to raise that a quarter inch, that is what I would do. I already raised it one quarter inch. But if I wanted to raise it another quarter inch, that's how I would do it. Now that's the front piece. How did I do it to the sleeve? I did it the same way. The same way. I figured out what part is the neck. I marked it neck. Then I put it down here. I'll do a little removable tape this time. A little removable tape. A little dabble do ya. Okay? You slap down your ruler. You follow this straight line, which is creating your neckline. Figure out what's creating your neckline. This line here goes straight up. So I'm just going to go straight up further. This line here curves a little bit, but it just keeps going. I'm going to curve it just a little bit. And then we're going to just do, what you, what you could do is take your curve, see, and you could put it here and see how much it's curved. See, people really miss me when I'm talking to you guys. I'm sorry about my phone. If I turn my phone off, it could be off for a week. I always forget to turn it back on again. My daughter was trying to call me the other day, and you know I absolutely go crazy, happy, excited when my daughter calls me. And she called me. She said, Mom, I've called you three times. Why haven't you answered your phone? Well, my phone had been turned off for like three days. I turned it off at night to, to make it not make the nighttime calls. Okay, there you are. You added one quarter inch. So now we're doing the sleeve, see? So here where I'm scribbling the red, that's the new neckline of the sleeve pattern. So then we just cut it out. Like that. And like that. And like that. And if you put the tape on properly, it will stay in place. Tape it good. Tape it good. Tape it good. Isn't that a song? So, that's how I raised the neck on the sleeve pattern piece. Just like that. I'm going to have to take all that red off because I don't want it any higher. When you see me wearing it in a little while, and I, I promise I'm not going to dance today. <laughs> Y'all were so kind. Oh my goodness, I had so much fun yesterday. I just love that album, I guess, which is why we bought it 30 years ago when we used to be young. I love to dance. We used to go to dances when we first met. And we always went to the, the places where they paid, played the old 50s music. <laughs> That's the only thing we knew how to dance to. Okay, so this is the raglan back pattern piece. And you can see I did the exact same thing. I just followed the lines just like they did. 
And I did the same thing they did. And that's all you have to do. So you've got your back, you've got your front, no, you've got your sleeve, your back, your sleeve, and your front. Now you could do it a half inch, you could do it three quarters inch. But that's how I did it, and it worked out just great. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Now the only other thing that I'm going to do on this pattern is the raglan sleeve is a tad short for me. So I'm going to add a piece of paper and lengthen this sleeve a half inch. And then I'm going to make the little notch, the little um, thing at the bottom for the hem where you come out so when you fold it up, it doesn't run short like here. You draw the bottom out wider so you can fold it up into itself. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a half inch on for a hem. And then this is actually exactly, exactly the right length, but when I hem it up, it makes it a tad short. Okay? You want to see it? You want to see it? Let me tell you one other thing. I made the new pants. The new pants are, remember I thought my Jaylee leggings were just too tight for a granny that's 70 years old. So I wanted to make a looser version. I at first thought I would just use the same pattern and just put more ease in it. But I decided to use a completely different pattern. I've already told you about it. It's called the Style Arc Becky Pant. Now the Style Arc Becky Pant simply says that you need a two-way stretch knit. It does not say it has to be 60%. So I want to show you this crazy knit that I use. It doesn't stretch very far. It just stretches a little bit. That's the width. And in the length, it hardly stretches at all. And my pants came out great. Okay? So, when you change to this pattern, if that's what you want to do, you are not going to have to have 60% stretch in your fabric anymore. The pattern has a back pocket. I left it off. I'm fixing to add it on. So I'm going to cut it out and put it on the back of my pants. And then, and then, <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready for this crazy outfit? Some of you will probably love it and some of you will probably hate it. But what I do is I pick out my least favorite piece if I'm starting something new that I've never made before and I'll pick out my least favorite. Well, next time somebody remind me, pick out your least favorite that's not stripes. <laughs> okay. And I guess you figured out I hate wearing shoes, but I did go put some on. So, as a reminder, Jaylee Raglan Top with the new style leggings. Style Arc Becky Pant. See? They're not near as tight. I mean, regular leggings are skin, skin, skin tight. These are still fitted, but not so tight. And then at the bottom, they're slightly flared. Huh? I'll try not to dance. <laughs> There's no music on today. The stripes present a whole new set of issues that you have to deal with. If you want your stripes to match. If you want your stripes to be the same on both legs. If you want them to match on the sides, and in the middle. Mine are close. I'm hoping that you're seeing them and they look really close, but they aren't perfect. Also, another super, super important thing to think about. You know how when you're making a top, a blouse, a jacket, you always have to think about your apexes and what might land on one or the other or both of them in a print? Well, let me tell you something else you need to think about. When you're making pants, if I can say this in some sort of a dignified manner, which I probably can't, I'm not very dignified. 
You have to pay attention. On your stripe, on your print, what will be coming out, let's say between your legs. Between your legs in the front and between your legs in the back. I actually saw a bunch of pictures somebody put on somewhere on the internet of clothing failures and they were actually clothes bought at a store. And so they would have a fabric with little faces on it, say. And somebody would have the face coming right out their crotch. Or they would have a dog or a cat or something going right up inside, let's say, the seam of their backside. Yeah, very important that you think about that. I had to think about this stripe. But my cure for the problem overall is, of course, the blouse is long enough. One of you said, tell me how to make the blouse higher because it's a strange style with the raglan sleeve. I did make mine higher. Can you tell? It's quite a bit higher. The other one's like down here. It's quite a bit higher. I figured it out. I didn't know how. So I just played around until I figured it out. So I made the neckline higher and I made the hem a half inch longer because somebody said, you're an ancient old lady and you need a longer top. So, my interpretation, of course. <laughs> hey, you all want to watch somebody fun, 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 fun. Nothing to do with sewing, nothing to do with quilting. <laughs> but you know my husband has a lot of back pain. He has that sciatic nerve thing that goes down his leg and into his foot. So we started watching this physical therapist. You know, Jerry's, he's at it right now. Jerry goes to physical therapy three times a week. He's there right now. He has two hours. He does nothing but different exercises there. So anyway, we started looking at these physical therapists on YouTube. <laughs> There's these two guys. One's name is Bob and one's name is Brad. They're 60 years old and 58 years old. They just happened to tell us the other day how old they were. But if you want free physical therapy, they talk, they're on every single day. Every single day. I don't know how on earth they think of things to say. Of course, Jerry says that to me all the time. How do you think of what to say? You've been on there for so long. <laughs> I said, if I'm awake, I've got something to say. So anyway, they're fun, fun, fun. And they show all kinds of exercises for all kinds of conditions. And so most doctors are slow talking, monotone, super boring. These two are fun, and it's just called Bob and Brad. So, hey, I should get a commission. <laughs> Bob and Brad, how do you like my little board? Isn't it cute? The only thing is, it's a little tiny thing. It's made for sidewalk sales. I guess I'm going to have to get a sidewalk in here. I don't know. <laughs> it sure is fun. It's black on the back. See the back? The back is black, and so I took my... Um, dry erase markers and none of them show up on it so I had to order some neon ones or some other kind of flavor so we can't write on the black yet but anyhow <laughs> I just love whiteboard you know that don't you vacuum cleaners sewing machines sergers and whiteboards that's my thing <laughs> it's a super cheap addiction really if you stop and think of the alternatives. <laughs> All right, end of insert. <laughs> okay, how'd you like that little fashion show? <laughs> Hate the pants, love the pants. Whatever, it's okay, it's okay. I, I'm probably not gonna wear them anywhere ever, 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 except right here in this house. <laughs> so, I did not put the pocket on those pants yet. And that outfit that you just saw me model is completely, totally all done except for the hem at the bottom of the shirt. And I don't think it really needs a hem. It hangs perfectly fine and it doesn't flip up. It's a really nice weight knit. From Fabric Mark Fabrics, of course. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut out this pocket, put it on my pants, and then I have got to get busy folding all this new fabric that keeps getting delivered here by UPS and FedEx. I don't know what is with them. It's like, we haven't delivered fabric in two whole days. Let's deliver some more. <laughs> oh, I know I'm giddy. I'll be back. But bye for now. <laughs>